what's going on with y'all so i got a, a video i want to react to today it's um the video is about a woman and she's kind of just talking about the red flags that men pick up in women so we're gonna go ahead you know and kind of digest her list so let's go ahead and get right into it all right ladies i might ruffle some feathers with this one but here are four major red flags that all men notice in women let's go number one non-reciprocal energy you hear a lot of women in the dating market saying when the right man comes along, you will not have to try. And although it's true that you won't have to try too hard, there's a difference between not trying too hard and not trying at all. You don't have to be thirsty. You don't have to come off desperate, but no man wants to be pursuing a woman that they feel is not giving them the same kind of energy in return. All right, so she said for number one, the non-reciprocal energy. Like, I guess women will hear that from other women they look up to and think, oh when the right man comes you don't have to try at all like no like if a woman is not like reciprocating energy meaning like she's not investing in the dates she's not initiating contact she's not like you know what i'm saying making your life easier she, like if she's not doing things to add on to your life you know what i'm saying she might not really even be interested in you and a lot of times as men we don't even see it because we like the woman so much we're being oblivious to all the other things that's going on that's how most men move, you know what I'm saying? We not even paying attention to that, you know what I'm saying? We just like how she look, like, man, it's fat down there, or like, you know what I'm saying? She look really good, she very like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, so um, definitely pay attention to how she's reciprocating, because when people like you, they reciprocate energy, and that's very important to pay attention to. Number expectations. Somewhere in the modern dating market, we have communicated to women that it is totally acceptable to expect a man to pay for their hair or their nails for a first date, or to even go as far as to ask a man they barely even know to help them with their bills. Feeling entitled to lavish treatment or financial assistance from a man that you barely even know that's still trying to get to know you is an extremely unrealistic expectation. And social media has done a really bad job of making modern women think that that behavior is normal. Let me be clear, there's nothing wrong with wanting a man who's financially solid, but no man wants to feel like they're your walking ATM. All right, so yeah, like I want to address what she said early on in that segment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, uh, a lot of times this happens from dating apps. I know y'all men have experienced this. Like, when online dating, a lot of women on there, you know what I'm saying? They are quick. Like, you, as soon as you get their number, they ask you, hey, I need gas money. They'll start off small. It's like gas money, or oh, I need the cell phone bill paid. And it's like, yo, I just got your number last week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like what, like, what you mean right now? But going back to what she's saying, a lot of times when you're looking at Instagram as the Bible, you know what I'm saying? You think that just because all these other women are getting money spent on or dropped on and it feels like they're living a certain life that you deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of times women are shy away, guys that make a certain amount of money because they feel like they're entitled to the 10 million, you know what I'm saying? A guy that makes 10 million a year type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, um, and this is not just women, a lot of men too, we're very shallow when it comes to certain things we're looking for in a partner or a situation. And we look past all the things that really matter. You know what I'm saying? All the, the values and things that down the road is going to matter. You know what I'm saying? Because money and looks as, yeah, of course you want people to be financially stable, but money is not the end all be all meaning that you know what i'm saying like you you can't have a relationship with money where you talk to it every day now you can have a good relationship with money but you know what i mean number three immaturity and uncontrolled emotions immaturity uncontrolled emotions acting crazy all of that has been rebranded recently as being toxic and there are a lot of social media channels out there that actually glamorize being toxic and encourage women to engage in this kind of behavior when good men get a sense of that behavior, you lashing out, blocking their number, cursing them out, they either just stop taking you seriously from that point forward or they don't tolerate it altogether because you're coming across to him more so like a child who's throwing a temper tantrum than you are a woman who wants to be taken seriously as an adult. All right, so yeah, with that point, um, you know, a woman that is acting like that, like I don't even do a type of woman like that, but you don't want to deal with women that can't handle, you know what I'm saying, um, maybe things not going their way, you know what I'm saying, and they act out, have temper tensions because those type of women are the women that lash, you know what I'm saying, slash your tires, you know what I'm saying, try to get you set up, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. But, you know, you, you, you got to stay away from women who are not mature because women that are not mature, 
they're not gonna represent you in the right way. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna, you're not gonna be able to trust them. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just a mess. It, it's, it's very toxic, like she said. So yeah, definitely stay away from them. Number four, probably the most controversial one of all, being too masculine. A lot of women will shy away from being feminine now because of the negative connotation that's associated with that in modern society. Whether you like it or not, the reality is that men like feminine women. Now this is the part in the story where a lot of women will say, well, it takes the right man to bring out that feminine energy. Although I do think that there are some points of that that are true, overall, I don't really agree with that. I think that as a woman, you either embrace your feminine energy and you walk in that, or you just haven't tapped into it. There are so many women in the modern day market who have hardened themselves to steal because of the negative experiences that they've had with men. Blocking your feminine energy is often a defense mechanism for a lot of women so that they don't get hurt in the future. But don't let the experiences of the past turn you bitter. The reality is, ladies, that there are two sides to every coin. And if we're going to talk about the bad traits of men, we also have to- And it's like a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? I only deal with feminine women. And for me, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to be masculine and sure of yourself as a man to deal with feminine women. Like, cause it, it's a two-folded thing, right? Because there's a lot of women that are masculine because they're putting up a defense, like she said, because they don't want to be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to, and I hate using this word, but they don't want to submit or whatever. So they put up this defense, but you don't even want to deal with those type of women because they're being insincere and in, um, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're being incongruent, you know what I'm saying? But the point I want to make is as a man, you, you definitely want to focus on your mindset and, and growing yourself and, and becoming the best version of yourself. Because when you do those things, you will naturally attract feminine women towards you. And for me, I only deal with women that are feminine with me because I like femininity. I like women's soft touch. I like their nature. I just like the presence, being around them. It's peaceful, it's calm. So for me, I love dealing with feminine women, but I know a lot of men deal with masculine women because a lot of times, let's just be honest, like most men are usually in their feminine energy. You're the one pursuing all the time. You're the one being in your feelings. You know what I'm saying? That was me. I was emotional all the time. I always second guess myself. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I wasn't sure she liked me. I didn't know where I stood. So when you had that type of mindset, you put out that energy and she's gonna respond to that. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, she definitely made some good points with the videos, you know, you know, as a man, it's definitely important that you pay attention to these signs that she discussed because, you know what I'm saying, the, the wrong woman, one woman can mess up your whole life, you know what I'm saying, like you have a kid with her, now you gotta deal with her for at least 18 years minimum, and you know, things of that nature, so it's definitely, how you move in this dating culture is definitely important. So definitely you wanna work on yourself as a man so you're able to identify these, these red flags and these signs because when you're dealing with craziness, a woman that's immature, a woman that can't control their emotions, man, you just, you're putting your life at risk. You know what I'm saying? So guys, that's my video for today, guys. I definitely appreciate you guys for watching the channel. Um, definitely guys, make sure you continue to share the video, share the content, um, subscribe to the channel, like, and definitely comment guys, and I'm gone.